my personal opinion is that you were very visionary when you wrote the first I mean the first person narration in your book because uh, you give this the reader this manipulative addicted crack whore you know and at the same time she is totally like it's, she has so much sympathy you know she is brave and she is funny as fuck and she is ironic and she's always truthful to herself you know so in my opinion that's what you did best you know is there is some kind of humor in all of it at the same time it's right it's the humor of the human condition yeah. it's like we all think we're so fucking important you know and we're really not and you know it's just how we're all driven and pushed around by unconscious drive and you know warped traumatic instinctual <laughs> desires and undescribable nightmares and things and they just sort of push us around and move us around through life yeah. and you know this character is kind of like a archetype character yeah. of the, the you and me and everybody and then the relationship between these two people which becomes like you know this war of wills of two people who hate each other and love each other but they can't get away from each other because it's like this karmic sort of debt that they have Very to pay karmic. to survive each other and this experience of this you know fatal sort of attraction that either they're going to kill each other or they're going to suffer some sort of extreme catharsis through the yeah. you know yeah. the, the mechanics of this painful process of going through this relationship, you know, because these are two people that are basically outside of society. They're people that don't really know how to interact with other human beings. Yeah. And the one character, Siganu, you know, which is the first person narrative, or the I in this thing, is somebody who's already been through a lot of the really extreme, self-destructive uh, drug hell that she's going through. He's in recovery, so he's seeking sort of like a, a spiritual path yeah. of enlightenment. But, you know, he's still kind of like a really fucked up, sick, flawed human being who is at least finally come to a place where he can be honest with himself about, you know, okay, this is me. If you don't like it, you know, sue me. Whereas she's just acting completely unconsciously, kind of like a savage beast, you know, wild animal that he used to be. So he gets to sort of see himself in her and he loves her because he can see the good in her and nobody else can see it because she's just completely made a point of just being this, this monster in society and just told the whole world to go fuck itself, including herself. And she's really especially looking... Especially herself. Especially herself. And she's looking, you know, she's looking to die. She's, you know, just consumed with regret and trauma and self-pity and, and anger and resentment and revolt. And she's basically trying to die. And then here comes the one person who Tell loves her. her. You should live. And just loves her unconditionally. And she does everything possible to make this person hate her. And hates her for a minute. And then he comes right back. And he's like, I love you. You know, I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with so me. So many people can relate to that. I guess Different so. levels, of course, but everybody can relate to that I love, so. hate experience yeah, somehow. Yeah, because it's the human relationship. It's yeah. like that horrible thing that we need. We Usually, need to be in Usually, human bonds are very loose, and there are special times when this bond is so intense that you can't just You can't it. get away, yeah. even though you maybe you think, I better get away, and he tries to get away, and it keeps coming back, and, you know, they're just bound and it's almost like there's this mission and there's a lot of sort of philosophizing on the book where you know he's like going well what the fuck is the meaning of this why 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 and he's asking questions and he really doesn't have any answers and it's kind of like the book you will not, never have those answers because there is no answer you know exactly. it's just this is life this is a mirror you know take a look at it you know you're not going to have any conclusion you know there's not going to be any easy, you know, you're not going to be able to say, well, the moral of the story is, yeah. you know, don't uh, 
go out with crack whores or, you know, whatever. I mean, there is no moral to the story. 